In the previous video, I introduced the premonition model and then explained how to assemble the major components into the final ship. You might check out that overview if you haven't seen it. This time, I'll be going deep, diving into the detail of the cockpit construction. I'll show how Premonition's cockpit works, building it up step by step. Okay, let's build. Beginning in the now the center bit of the cockpit uh, for these sub-modules, uh, we start with this component. And I will uh, just uh, crack this open. So we've got a bunch of this uh, trans pink, uh, uh, trans dark pink, I think, uh, glass uh, flowing out this uh, panel, uh, goes into a brick, a couple of plates. Uh, this, uh, these two plates then are going into a, a brick. This red uh, is a, a brick with four side studs. And so it's giving uh, studs in this direction and out the front. Uh, and then out the front, uh, then uh, we've uh, connecting in this uh, two by two tile in magenta, as well as now projecting up uh, upside down uh, two bits of the glass, basically the one by two pan one by two plates in the pink. Uh, around the back, uh, this uh, panel is then uh, connecting into a two by two plate with for magenta. Uh, there's a peak slope here in tan. Uh, which is then heading into a one by two to one by two inverted bracket, uh, a one by two plate, and a couple of headlights. That's then connected into a bit of framing and a bit of the back of the pilot's seat. So there's a uh, two by two plate. Uh, that is, then there's a one by two plate underneath that, um, a uh, one by two to one by two inverted bracket here in light blue. Uh, it's capped off with these two turquoise uh, one by two to one by two brackets. Uh, and then there's a couple of these 45 degree peak slopes that form the back of the pilot's seat. Now the rest of the pilot's seat are two more brackets in dark blay, one by two to one by two inverted, uh, a one by two plate, uh, and a curved uh, bow. So we'll put these together like this. And then uh, the seat uh, comes in uh, to these headlights. Like so. Okay. Set this aside for a moment. And the next component is uh, our pilot. And our pilot has, oh, I went and popped them off and dropped this. So our, our pilot has two control sticks. And the control sticks uh, are uh, uh, going into uh, the back of this uh, uh, two by two round plate. Uh, one of them needs to go. Uh, be connected all the way in. Great. Uh, and then the uh, two by two uh, round plate has two uh, inverted brackets uh, in dark tan, uh, which then are uh, capped off with uh, two headlights here in blay. Uh, the headlights have on top of them uh, two uh, one by one to one by two brackets in dark blue. And then into the back of the headlights is a plate with a door rail and a one by two plate. So our pilot is going to connect up into this section here that's the, with the uh, studs on the uh, top of that uh, red brick, uh, then flowing down and around uh, like so. The next component for this uh, is uh, this one, and I should probably uh, open this up a bit. So uh, there's a uh, one by two to two by two bracket. Uh, that bracket uh, into the top of it is a uh, brick with four side studs here. Uh, and then uh, it's flowing in the other direction is a one by two, a couple of one by two plates. Uh, and then a couple of these plates uh, with clips on top, uh, they're uh, attached, they're um, sitting uh, with a grill tile across the top. And there are these uh, one by three plates with the, the uh, bar connections on two sides. Two of those uh, tapped over with an ingot. From this side, then we're flowing into a bunch of brackets. So uh, there's a one by one to one by two uh, bracket, uh, and then that's and there's an inverted one by one to one by one, another and then normal one by one to one by one there, and the center of all of that is this gray uh, brick with two side studs, 
and uh, that will come in like this. And what we're going to then pull across the top of that is this unit. So there's a, a hinge brick. Uh, the hinge brick is sitting on top of a one by two plate and then a one by two plate with two clips, uh, which then is connected to uh, two of these uh, white uh, four long plates with two bars, uh, then, then going into two clips. And uh, by putting this uh, into uh, this element uh, with the uh, bracket there and then connecting the clips, oops, let me do this way. Uh, the, uh, we are going to get uh, just the right angle uh, off the front projected now off the front of this, it's securing this angle, uh, which is going to be necessary later for uh, the nose of the cockpit. So it's uh, keeping it at uh, just where exactly where it needs to be. Okay. Um, so temporarily, uh, I'm going to sort of, uh, how do I say, tack this on. Uh, later, there's something that's going to come along and bring all these studs together and give it a bunch of strength, but it, temporarily, just to hold it, there's these uh, two side studs are going to go into the bottom of our pilot. And so uh, this is not the final connection, uh, but this will do uh, temporarily uh, to keep things where they need to be for this segment, for this component, until we come back and uh, make everything super strong. Uh, the next uh, component uh, is this. So let me uh, bring off the back of that. So uh, there is, again, some, uh, uh, maybe I start up here at the top. So there's a, a one by six uh, plate in black, uh, one by one in front. This is seven uh, module long. Uh, it's tapped over the top with these curved uh, bits in magenta. And then underneath there's a bunch of glass. So one by, f uh, one by four and a one by one uh, brick and the trans dark pink, uh, one by two. Uh, and then over here, we've got a couple of plates and the transparent plates. Uh, and then there's a, uh, to get an angle, uh, there's a, a plate with bar and a plate with two clips off the side. Uh, another one by two plate in the trans dark pink. Uh, and then this uh, round uh, plate in yellow one by two, uh, and then a, then blue to green is a plate with clip and a plate with bar. And then uh, up underneath this is uh, one of these round uh, one by one uh, round with bar uh, plates in, uh, in blay. And uh, that has a hollow stud, so it's, in, it's jumped in the center of this uh, trans dark pink. Uh, and it's there to then keep the rotation of this green piece in exactly the right spot. So it comes, uh, it comes up against the bottom of that uh, doesn't move, and uh, that turns out to be important later uh, when we're going to connect uh, along the side, um, uh, the uh, outside of the cockpit. Okay. The other part of that, uh, the big part of this segment is over here, and the now we have some uh, bar and plate work happening. Uh, it's uh, looks finicky at the moment. Once we get everything secured in, uh, it'll be good. Uh, but um, the, uh, how to explain this. So there's a, a, a brick with side stud in black into a corner plate, two by two in black, uh, that has a tile on top, uh, one of these two plate tall bricks. Uh, and then uh, we're uh, flowing everything else out through um, uh, uh, plates and bars. Uh, um, so there's a, a one by three plate rounded in black across the back of this. Uh, it has a three long uh, bar in gray, uh, which then has clipped into it a, a plate uh, carrying over now a, a tile in three, a brick with side stud, and a cheese. And so put that in just the right position and then rotate it up. The other side of that also has a bar. Uh, this is a four long bar. And then into that is a plate with two clips. And then finally, in the last uh, opens, uh, uh, open studs uh, is a uh, mechanical claw uh, that then has into that a, a plate with a bar. So this entire unit for now is going to get tacked in uh, and uh, just uh, using this one stud. Uh, I think this will be better later. But the one stud is going to go into the bottom of the, uh, the uh, transparent bit like this. 
And if I rotate it around now, you can see that the uh, the positioning for where the bar is uh, conceptually uh, goes right across. Uh, it's cut through, so there's space for the pilot. Uh, but then hung off of it, these plates with clips are in exactly the same position, uh, which is important because that's how we're going to connect it up uh, now into uh, this main component. So coming around. I'm going to connect up the uh, now the four studs here and here, and then take this entire unit and just uh, rotate it up uh, to match flush uh, here along this top edge. And uh, it has just enough of a reveal that you can see like a kind of a little bit of the edge of the transparent panel, but I think uh, overall, um, which I think is great. This is, this is, this is a, a good fit. Looks nice. And I'm going to do the same thing on this side with the mirror image. Okay. Set aside again. Uh, the next piece, uh, next component, uh, looks like this. So uh, there, uh, uh, there's a uh, two by eight plate in Blay. Uh, that then uh, is capped off with a two by six tile in white. Uh, there's a couple. Uh, there's a round plate, uh, a round one by two plate with an exposed stud for a look here on the corner, and then it has a curved tile. Uh, across the top. Uh, there's a one by six plate, some uh, one by a four long tile, uh, and then carrying this magenta color blocking back. Uh, then this is into a uh, plate rotation hinge, and I've um, broken those apart so we get blay on one side and white on the other. Uh, and then there's two inverted brackets, a one by one and a one by two uh, uh, projected up off of that. Connected in uh, are another uh, couple of ro uh, side rotation hinges, those plate hinges. Uh, they're stacked on top of one another. There's a round plate underneath it. Uh, and sitting on top of that is a one by two plate and then a bracket, uh, the one by two to two by two. And uh, we're just going to stack those up uh, underneath. And so this is creating a unit that uh, is going to cover the connect to the side of the of the cockpit uh, and then rotate down uh, to meet the main body of the ship. I have a mirror image for this as well uh, with one uh, important detail. So there's a um, one by one to one by uh, two bracket, an inverted one and a normal one uh, that's going to sit in between. Uh, so um, uh, we can't have the two inverted ones up against one another. It doesn't fit properly. So uh, just have to watch out for this kind of asymmetry in the connection. Um, and you can see then uh, once we put this together, uh, it's going to make a nice uh, field of brackets uh, for the connection point uh, back into the uh, back of the uh, cockpit and to be able to keep it um, canted at just the right direction. So let's go ahead and connect that up into the main ship. Uh, and now finally, instead of this, all these studs below that are just being, this bottom unit is just being held by our pilot at the moment, we can tack all of this in. So the seven, uh, 11 studs, everything gets connected uh, and we can be happy. I uh, just need to uh, gingerly get that in the right spot. And I do the same thing uh, with the other side. And make sure I get everything I hear on the inside. Ah, there we go. 
nice satisfying pop. All right, uh, so now we have this center unit um, looking good, nice and strong. Uh, we're going to try to see what's going to happen here below to get this held in the right angle. Uh, I'm going to uh, top that off, this back unit, with the uh, 2x6 plate, a couple of 1x2 to 1x2 to brackets, uh, which are um, uh, got some bows on top. And those will come across these um, 10 studs here on the, the top of this. like that. Uh, and now I need to create the component which is going to come in on the bottom underneath that, uh, which has several bits. And so the starting um, uh, is uh, this uh, two by six uh, plate with rounded corners uh, in black. On top of that is a two by two plate uh, with side studs in blue. Uh, it's carrying a couple of uh, tiles with clips on top of them, uh, one by three plates, uh, and then a bunch of these uh, round uh, one by ones. Uh, onto that is going to go uh, two, uh, two by two with side uh, plates with side studs in dark red. Uh, these are, uh, uh, there's a, a modified two by two tile with two studs. On top of that, uh, some round plates and some round tiles. And uh, that will come off the back facing the other direction, like this. Uh, and then now around up around the corner, for that are two uh, two by two wedge plates. Uh, there's a one by two plate and a, and a tile and a round uh, plate, uh, and uh, that's going to come in here on top for this side and on top for the other side. Uh, so the round is transitioning to this other cut that we're going to see uh, down from below. Uh, kind of crazy part. So uh, these are these uh, kind of uh, struts uh, which are going to help with the positioning for the sides of the cockpit. Uh, so it's a um, brick with side stud here in white. Uh, there's an ingot on top. Oh, sorry, it's a brick with two side studs. They're 90 degrees opposed in white. Uh, there's on top of it is an ingot. To the side here is a skate. And then we have a, uh, a tile with a clip, uh, bar holder, uh, bar holder into claw, claw to bar holder, uh, and then into the bar holder is a plate, a round plate with a bar on it. And uh, we have two of these, uh, which are going to come off. Uh, from each side here, and later we're going to uh, help to hold things where they need to be. So, like so. Uh, then we have even more. So uh, a two by two plate with side studs into a hinge brick, a couple of stacked um, one by two rounded uh, plates. Claws, bar holders, uh, plate with bar, round plate with bar, uh, and that will sit up on top, uh, you know, into this area where there's no studs. Like this. And then the final bit of this little sub component uh, are these uh, wedges. These run. And put one here and uh, one here, and that's just f for a kind of finishing flush look here um, when we look at the bottom of the ship. So bringing back that uh, main component now, uh, the, our work in progress cockpit, uh, we can connect this uh, up uh, underneath. And the uh, now these two clips here on the front of this are going to connect in on these um, one by three plates. Uh, and by doing that and bringing everything together, it's going to force the rotation of th these this bit back here, uh, this whole segment, uh, to exactly the angle that where we want the cockpit to be uh, tilted downward. So we just need to get this all oops, get this all connected in the right spot. Okay. 
Okay. Pretty good. Not sure everything else is still tacked in properly. All right, uh, and then as you can see, you can see the jog and direction uh, across and then uh, and then down. A couple more little finishing bits here to the top of the around the cockpit. So this is a, a two of these uh, brick and black uh, 53 degree slopes uh, that have uh, studs on the uh, s on the outer edge, uh, and then on top of those there are uh, cheese and uh, magenta. So uh, one here, and then we'll drop one on the other side. And uh, with the geometry for this, that's uh, creating a uh, flat surface now uh, across the top. And later when we bring all the, the cockpit and the ship together, uh, I can put a uh, trapezoidal flag element uh, across here, uh, and it's going to look uh, nice and flush. Okay. Uh, two more little bits for this uh, subcomponent. Uh, so these uh, bits in green, um, the plates with the uh, bars on them, uh, those are projected up. Uh, uh, just held there so I can drop in these. Oh, let me set this to the side. Uh, drop in these um, 45 degree slopes of magenta. The bottom's cut out. There's some round plates uh, and a round brick. And uh, that's going to allow this uh, to cut up uh, and then rotate uh, to uh, carry the color blocking back and around on each side. So that's this component. The next component starts with a uh, two uh, by six uh, wedge plate uh, here in white. And uh, then against that, we have uh, three 45 degree uh, slopes in sand blue with the bottom cut out, hung off one side, uh, and uh, three 45 degree slopes uh, with the top cut up, uh, uh, tacked in from below on the other side of that plate. Uh, there's a uh, one by two to one by four bracket uh, here in the back, uh, and that's pinned up uh, against a uh, one by two plate, and that's round. And so we're gonna add to this a uh, another couple of 45 degree slopes here in sand blue, uh, and these are hung off of a, um, a two by two corner uh, plate with a one by one to one by one bracket on top. And that will fit in like this. Next subcomponent uh, is a, a big series of brackets uh, for the most part. And so uh, one, two, three, four uh, one by two to two by two brackets uh, and one one by one to one by one bracket. Uh, these four brackets, uh, or all of these brackets together, uh, are alternating directions, inverted or um, normal, and using that to get stud reversal uh, for the so that this component you can connect into something on the other side uh, down below it. So uh, you can see that the directions cut across the top here. Um, with the uh, that's into a uh, one by eight plate, uh, one by one plate, one by one plate, uh, one by one to one by one bracket. Uh, and then across the top here is sand blue, uh, six long and four long plates. Uh, there's also then cheese uh, in white and black here along the top. And uh, this unit's going to uh, come in on these uh, studs which are facing down uh, into the unit that we just made here with the um, all of the 45 degree slopes. And this bit of the bracket, uh, the one by uh, four to one by two, it's going to slide in. It's going to slide in on this uh, modified tile with the two studs. So connect that nice and snug. Okay, excellent. So it looks like this. Uh, the next bit here is uh, this. I'll take this off temporarily. And maybe take this off. 
So uh, we start with a bunch of uh, round plates. So these are four long uh, round plates here in black. Uh, one, two, uh, and um, uh, and then plate, and then down below, and then up above are plates with door rails. So there's an eight long one and a two long one. And if I turn it over, you can see all of this is tacked together behind tiles. So the uh, there's a couple of these corner tiles, a uh, tile with the corner cut out, two by two uh, triangular tiles uh, to give some color blocking, a one by two here, and a baby bow. And so that's running, that's holding all those units together from below. Uh, and then into the side, we have a, uh, a mechanical arm, uh, which is uh, dropped through a uh, round one by one with an open stud. Uh, two of those stacked up, and so the arm is pushed all the way through. Uh, and then that is now then clipped to a plate with a bar. You have another one of these uh, plates with the bar into the claw, um, into a round one by one plate uh, that then is uh, takes a jog into a one by uh, one by one to one by two bracket, and a seventy five degree slope here, uh, and this is going to be uh, tacked off of the back for that. So drop in like so. Uh, you can see the white uh, continuing to flow here from this direction. Uh, and then lastly, there's a 2x2 two two plate with side studs. And that's going to come in right in here. And uh, in a later step, when we bring this all together with the main cockpit, uh, that stud connection is going to be important um, when it connects up into the, the main body of the cockpit. Uh, but the next thing to do here is to then uh, bring this together so we can get the... Uh, the angle change. And so uh, come back to the other component and then uh, we'll connect in uh, these plates with the bar on both sides. And move everything together and uh, get a nice flush fit uh, here with a, a 30 degree change uh, as the black comes down and around. Uh, continuing with this uh, this component, uh, there are two 45 degree slopes out in sand blue with the top cut out, uh, a one by two plate, a, a cut corner tile, uh, and a one by three tile. And uh, that will come in here on two of these studs. Uh, later when we do the assembly, I'm going to take that back off uh, and uh, but you can see and put it on the last minute, but you can see where this goes. Uh, and then the last uh, bit of this subcomponent is here. And um, let me. So this is a, uh, a wedge here in the sand blue, uh, two by four uh, wedge. And uh, underneath the kind of the long side of that wedge uh, with the four wide, there are two headlight bricks uh, and then two of the uh, baby D snot bricks. And uh, then those, uh, then across the studs here, uh, uh, the four studs is a one by four tile. Uh, and I've, uh, and for looks, um, the uh, drop to one by one tile, one by one round tiles rather, uh, into the back of those uh, snot bricks. Uh, attached to that uh, are, uh, is a uh, one by two plate, one by one, uh, half round tile, another of the uh, 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 D-snot bricks, a, a couple round uh, plates, and a cheese. And uh, that will get uh, connected in like this. So this sub-element uh, looks like that. And it will connect in here on the uh, to this white bracket. And then we get the 45 degrees uh, flowing across this facet, uh, and then it's cut up uh, underneath here where the then 75 degree jog happens from two sides uh, to converge back. Okay, so that's this component. Let's begin with the nose for the cockpit, and that starts with this sub-assembly. So there is a, a two by three plate here in Blay. Uh, into that are two uh, one by two to one by two inverted brackets. 
uh, in red, uh, there's these two long cheese in medium lavender uh, and a couple of uh, bricks with side stud. So uh, this component is going to connect into this one, uh, which is a uh, one by four plate in blue. And then off the back of that is a two by two plate with side studs. In blue, there's a one by two round on top of that. That's capped with a couple of these half round tiles. Uh, and then uh, onto that uh, uh, blue plate are two uh, one by two uh, plates uh, with a one by one plate and a cheese. And underneath this whole unit is a jumper, uh, a three long jumper. So this unit uh, is going to connect in on top of the, the hollow studs here are going to jump this. So it looks like so. The next component is this one. So uh, there is a, um, let's see, should I, I take this? Uh, so there's a, a one by three plate here in, uh, in white. Uh, it has two one by one plates underneath it. Uh, on top of it are some tile work in black, one by one, and then two of these cut facet tiles. Uh, that's then sitting into a one by two plate in white, uh, which goes to a, a bracket in medium blue, uh, a few round plates, and then another bracket in medium blue. Then this uh, component uh, is going to come up in inside of this one. So I'm going to slide this down uh, and get those tiles, the top of those black tiles behind those the studs coming off the dark azure plates uh, and then connect in this, uh, the back. There's a stud here in the bracket. It's going to go into the back of these plates. Oops. Get that nice and cinched up. Okay. The next component is this. So there's a, uh, this is kind of the, uh, like the top facet for the nose. So uh, there's a uh, brick with side stud here in the very center in white. Uh, it has a, a robot claw into that. Uh, the claws picked up a plate with a bar, um, round plate and round tile on top of that. I'll show where that goes in just a moment. Uh, and then there are two uh, other bricks with side stud next to that that are pinned in with a, a one by three panel on top, one by three plate and a one by three inverted tile here below. And these last two studs uh, that are coming off of here uh, are picking up ingots, uh, which you'll see in a moment are used for spacers. And so uh, that should be slid so that the top of the ingot is flush with the inside of that panel. Uh, so now we can take the, uh, going back to this unit, uh, the stud which is projected off of this uh, uh, bracket uh, can then pick up uh, this, the center, uh, which is carrying this bit. And uh, if you uh, 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 put the robot claw and the, and the claw and everything in the right spot, cinch it in, uh, then we get a nice flow uh, from the uh, jog here uh, an angle up and around. Uh, now into the bottom of that uh, is going to come this uh, one by two plate, a one by three plate, a uh, jumper, uh, and then that uh, that uh, three long jumper uh, is carrying a one of these pentagonal tiles uh, right in the center. Uh, and that will come in on top of this uh, remaining tile on top of the bracket. Okay. The next bit here uh, is uh, is this one. And let's see how to... So uh, there's a, uh, actually I can probably just pop this off. So there's a, a one by three plate here in dark azure. Uh, it has an inverted little three long tile up underneath it. 
uh, in the top of that plate is a five plate high uh, brick with side stud here in play. And then we're going to connect in on top of that uh, two of these units. So uh, this is a, um, a brick with side stud uh, round plate uh, bracket, uh, one by one to one by two inverted, a couple of round plates. And then it's carrying another of those five uh, plate tall um, bricks with side stud. Uh, and then I'm going to take a, an 18 degree slope and cinch that uh, all the way across. It comes in like this. So then this uh, unit uh, connects in like that. And we can see from below now there's the two hollow studs. Those hollow studs are going to pick up uh, this bit. So there's a, a modified 1x4 tile. Uh, just has two studs on top. Uh, each of those are carrying a, a tile with a top clip. Uh, which is into a plate with a bar, and uh, that plate with the bar has a round uh, green uh, one by two plate on top of it. And uh, this is then going to get jumped, and those uh, uh, hollow studs, and it looks like this. And you can start to see where this is now going to support at 18 degrees the sides uh, for this uh, uh, this module, this component. And I can put these two together. And so uh, this is now going to uh, kind of almost like a collar uh, slide back into this channel. Uh, and the studs here will then connect into the underside of this jumper. Put that together. Okay. Uh, as I do that, uh, then I, you can see from the side, uh, these ingots uh, that we had tapped in underneath now uh, are acting as spacers. So they're keeping this uh, 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 this facet, uh, the submodule here, from moving. So it's going to pinned into the right location. Uh, and I've got these uh, two exposed studs on each side, uh, which are now in the perfect spot uh, to pick up these wedges in white. And so one, two. So this is uh, bringing in the shaping down and around. Uh, now I can fill in the uh, front. And that has two bits. Uh, so the first uh, is uh, this one. Uh, there, are, It's a, a two by two corner plate, uh, one in gray, one in black. Uh, the reason for that is I'm going to, I need the uh, scent, I need to, to connect this in on a jumped hollow stud. So I needed the corner plate. Uh, and then that's cut across, held together uh, with this uh, curved one by uh, four black bow, double bow. And so it's uh, got the front projected up to capture uh, the black uh, run with uh, two of these uh, curved wedges. And then below uh, two of these uh, baby bow bits in um, sand blue. And uh, we're going to connect this in here. Okay. And then underneath that, then we'll get capped. Uh, this is a one by two plate, uh, two more of these wedges. Oops. Uh, and the same thing that gets uh, jumped here in the center. Okay, uh, so then just what remains are the sides, uh, and that looks like uh, these two bits. So there's a two by three plate here in black, uh, two uh, one by two round uh, plates on top of that, uh, and then that's carrying uh, four of these uh, double wide bows. Um, and uh, you can kind of see the, from certain angles, you can see the edge of that. So I've carried in these one by one plates here in sand blue and black. So that the side, this side has the proper uh, color blocking projected through. And the reason that these, um, using these round plates is that this is also going to get jumped uh, into the hollow studs here. So uh, we'll connect into the green. So. Oh, and by the way, these uh, these bits here, the green to yellow, uh, that's being held at exactly the right, supported from below uh, with those cheese slopes at exactly the right spot.
So this uh, is the uh, completed nose for the cockpit. Now we can bring together all of those uh, major subcomponents to complete the uh, cockpit assembly. Um, and so uh, we have this one. I'm going to pull up the struts here from below. And we're going to need to connect each of the sides. And so those side components, just build, I'm going to uh, temporarily remove uh, both this front bit uh, off of the one by three tile. Let's set that to the side. Uh, and uh, the back here, uh, where we have the heading into this uh, one by four wedge. So uh, I'll add those back on uh, after uh, we have everything connected up and uh, into the main uh, into the main cockpit assembly. And uh, so to connect in here, the uh, we have the uh, a stud receptacle that is held at just the right angle uh, here on the side, uh, and that's going to go into uh, this. Uh, dark red brick here on top. Uh, and then uh, I will uh, swing everything up from below uh, to cinch it in. Uh, and uh, so it'll be held in from below uh, as well as above. Uh, but it is a little bit tricky to get into exactly the right spot. Okay, so it's on the side there. Great for that side. Now I'll move to the other one. And this one also, I need to remove the temporarily, these two bits. Okay. And bring this up uh, into here. All right. Good. And uh, then down. Very good. Uh, and then we'll swing in this one from uh, above here. And uh, if the uh, plate needs to be rotated, just using a little uh, brick separator. Okay, and uh, take a look here from the front and top. You can see nice and tight. If it looks uh, super good, uh, and uh, when you get this triangular effect now with the side windows as well, with everything cut through. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, attach the nose, which we made earlier. Uh, and that's going to come in on these two studs uh, into this, uh, into the bit that is being held at just the right angle to receive that. Uh, but it also is just a bit delicate to get it into the right spot. Nice. So you can see the fit down into that and around. And then we have these gaps here. Uh, and that's going to get covered with these areas that we had just uh, popped off uh, temporarily. So bring one in like this and one in like this. There we go. Uh, and that leaves then uh, just uh, coming back around this back edge uh, of the cockpit for the uh, back bottom edge for those last bits that we had uh, temporarily removed. And so coming in on uh, here, uh, we've got uh, one and rotate up. And then same thing over on this side. Rotate up. All right, so here's the bottom of the cockpit. 
uh, from the side and uh, from the back. This is the section which will be connected back up into the main ship when we do the final assembly. Okay. That completes the construction of Premonition's cockpit. In an upcoming video, I'll explain detailed construction for the ship's core. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Ooh. Mm.